Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Good morning, everybody. Hopefully, everybody's doing well. It's 11, it's actually 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You're not going to believe this. Went to the doctor yesterday and uh, he gave us some medicine. Ruth and I both went to bed at 10 30 last night. We woke up at 11 30 today. So, I don't know if it was sleeping pills he gave us or what. But anyway, story of me going to the doctor. I went to the doctor here in the Philippines this is with the call, a new clinic being opened right now. The clinic is a uh, USA type clinic where you actually go in the door, uh, either pay a small fee and or put an insurance, turn in insurance, and he sees you and then takes care of you, family doctor, uh, you know, local practitioner, and uh, he can prescribe things and he can help and fix wounds and, you know, light duty stuff except operations uh, but they are a lab they're also they can do your blood and they can uh, do all the testing and everything needed for uh, blood work being done which is very important and he based this on he said I took this from USA uh, and he is a doctor for quite a few years an emergency room doctor a young man he looked to be about 20 or 10 <laughs> Because young Filipino look uh, very young, but they could be 40 years old. Uh, very knowledgeable guy, very knowledgeable, well worth it. Uh, we walked in, he says, okay, tell me your problem. I said, I have a rash. And uh, I this rash, I'm not really sure what's causing it. My wife has it, uh, some of my relatives have it, have it. Cut, neighbors have it. He says, there's a pandemic going on right now in your area. and this particular rash has been around since COVID. It started around COVID, uh, where people are cooped up in their houses and things like that. Um, it's a rash found by the rivers, and you uh, you have it, and it's easily spreadable. And it's done by contact. You can actually spread this. He said, you, you received this from someone that had it, um, because I know you're not the source. And he said the source sometimes is uh, kids around the riverbank swimming and things like that and it comes back and filters around them. here. Right now they ran out of medicine, they're out of medicine here in Bukit Mill. Uh, they had some shipped in from, uh, was it uh, Guam? Somewhere, Guam, uh, because it has, uh, uh, it has uh, Primerith in it and uh, that's a highly, as you know, we used to use that to kill termites and it's a very low dose of it but anyway so take this put this on for a few days and tell us what to do and apply it anyway we walked out of there and ended up the medicine cost about uh, 20 thousand uh, excuse me 2,000 peso which is forty dollars the medicine and no charge at the doctor's office but it's normal a charge if you were to go in the doctor this clinic you could go and that's the main thing is uh, five dollars to six dollars all people and that is so unique because here in the Philippines they have no no there's you go to the emergency room and they want to use Philly Health and you can't get in the, but you can get in to see this doctor uh, and he's not going to ask if you have insurance or not when you walk in the door if you have two three hundred peso he's going to accept you and which is far-fetched they see a need he said I saw a need back a year and a half ago when we started to do this and he said this is the first office he said I had to save my money for the equipment for especially the lab work equipment he has a lot of lab work he has uh, two or three lab technicians and you wouldn't believe the lab It's beautiful it's actually stunning he would not let me take pictures in there in video and understandably so because private and things like that there's other patients there also uh, he's the only doctor presently, and he'll, I told him, you'll have to expand this place. You'll end up taking over the whole block. He says, uh, we're filling the need now. He said, the need is this. There's so many kids and children that need care, and they can't get the care because either Philly Health is not covering them anymore, or Philly Health, if, even if you have Philly Health, they require you to stay in the hospital three days before they pay the bill. He said, I'm not having that. So people, pregnant ladies can come in. It does not matter what. Me, elderly, uh, he, they'll do blood work. So if you have diabetes or potential diabetes, they'll do the blood work and get you set up and get you on the right medication, get you back on the right path. I find it very interesting that he started doing this. And he said, I took the idea. Actually, it took the idea from the United States. 
There's so many clinics in the U.S. that are overrun right now because of the go what's going on in insurance. And he said, you could actually go to a clinic. I said, I know. I've used, that's, I used to use the clinic. I have a doctor, but I used to use the clinic a lot of times. He said, you, you can walk in the clinic. You can. You can walk in the clinic in the U.S. You, they ask you if you have insurance. No, we're going to self-pay. Okay, fine. The doctor will be right with you. It will be about 30 minutes because they have 30 people ahead or whatever. And you'll see a doctor. And if it's something like your heart or kidney or liver or some organs, they'll, he'll give you a prescription, a referral to this doctor. Please contact this doctor. Here is a referral and here is the piece of paper. Unique. And I said that a couple of Americans went back to the States and said they can't get to the doctor. Well, you can get to a doctor. Come on. All you have to do is go to a clinic. You can get to a doctor. You can get to any doctor. Just go to a clinic. There's thousands and thousands of clinics throughout the United States. Sure, they're going to charge you 30, 40, 50 bucks, but it's well worth paying the 50 bucks to get a referral, to get taken care of. You got the flu, you're not going to go to emergency for the room. These clinics are really an ideal deal. So, that's exactly what he's doing. His new thing is, is I'm doing this. So, after he gave me the prescription, we talked a few minutes for our medication for Ruth and I. We have to apply these lotions every six hours to get rid of the rash. And um, like I said, it's highly contagious, so uh, we will not interact with anybody or see anybody or touch anybody, you know what I mean? Mine actually came, I think, I get blessed a lot at church. Mine started on my this hand right here with in between my fingers. And I get blessed a lot. The young, young ladies, men, young children will come bless me and I can have 100, 200 people sometimes a day, especially at church, or more, or even during the week, that people bless me. And so, all it has to be is on someone's hand, and then next thing you know, you have it. It can be a reoccurring problem, too. And so, just because you think you don't have it, you can have it. But, but what I want to talk about briefly, just for a couple of minutes here, is the idea of having a clinic here in the Philippines will actually set a snowball effect to many different areas that it can actually offer Filipino. Right now Filipino are not going to do hospitals. Uh, very few are going to hospitals. My neighbor was sick and did not go to the hospital for the longest time because of they had to stay in the hospital three days and then when they get out they got a bill of whatever one two thousand dollars. Lady went to the hospital is two thousand dollars. Two thousand US dollars, two hundred thousand pesos. She can't pay that. Father, her husband makes uh, uh, five dollars, ten dollars a day, and there's no way in the world they can they can do that with three, four, five kids. So you see the scenarios and see what's going on. I see many opportunity with this, and I found it I find it very interesting that, that there's clinics or clinic, and he, this is the only one that we know of. Now there may be some throughout the Philippines somewhere else, but right now this is the only clinic that I know of that's opened up, and then he was pretty busy. Once word gets out, we won't be able to get in there, and he'll have to open up another office. And I hope I never have to. I said, I hope I don't see you again. Uh, I love you, but I'm not. I don't want to be back here. If you know what I mean. But really, if you think about it, inexpensive, five dollars, four dollars to see him, and then he takes care of whatever need it is. It alleviates the situation where you have to go to the hospital for care. That is the problem right now. And he said the insurance is right now. They're working with Philly Health to come up with a program for the clinics, and he said we're trying to work that out with them now. He said we've been working out for almost three years. He said we're coming close to the end of it. He said once that works out is that, that Philly Health will cover up to a portion. They'll cover all like all but a hundred peso of that two three hundred that he's going to charge to come in. And so which will leave a lot because it's hard for someone to come up two three hundred pesos even four to five dollars in a lot of cases go to the doctor because if you have multiple kids and multiple problems you'll be constantly there all the time you guys know this and a lot of the care he's telling me that he's taking care of is simple care uh, you know like rashes uh, uh, pregnancy uh, OBGYN uh, a lot of care as far as eye care he said they're having a lot of problems with eyes meaning people don't go to the doctor with their eyes he says so I'm finding myself being a ophthalmologist and the 
problem with the people with the, that do the care with the glasses. They're very expensive here for a Filipino, not for me. For me to go examine things like that, including the glasses, me, Ruth, and RR. Uh, well, me and Ruth did it, it was a, a 5,000 peso. And a lot of Filipino cannot afford 5,000 peso or 6,000 peso for glasses and I exam. So you can see the dilemma. So the really the the people that really need it the most, it's not available. So I hope and pray that this works out positive for everybody, and I hope it just goes further and further. So today is shout out to the wonderful guy who opened up a USA clinic here in the Philippines. God bless everybody. I'll see you next time on Tom and Rude Philippine Adventures.